Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a table using JavaFX. Now whenever I say table, think of it like a spreadsheet where you have your data and it's arranged in rows and columns. So if you ever use Microsoft Excel or any spreadsheet program like that, you guys are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. And actually, I know it sounds kind of complex, but a lot of the hard work, JavaFX takes care of it for us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, whenever you're trying to create a spreadsheet-like application in JavaFX, it's always a good idea to take your data and stick it inside a new class. So for this program, I'm just going to make like a dummy little spreadsheet app. And I'll say that I have a store and I'm selling, you know, whatever products I want to sell in my store. So this will be um, a class where I can have all of my products, all of my items, whether I want to sell, you know, corn, food, bouncy balls, computers, whatever. So let me get rid of that line at the top because it's annoying. All right. Now, check this out. What properties are associated with my products? Well, let's see. They have a name. They have a price. And since I'm running a store, I probably have more than one. So I'll say that I have laptops selling for 500 bucks, and I have 20 of them. So again, we're going to need name, price, and quantity, or inventory, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and make those properties right now. So string name. And I'll make another. Um, the price will be double since we'll need you know decimal places. Price. And for the last one, the quantity, how many items do I have? I'll just say quantity. You can say amount, inventory, whatever. So basically, these are the three properties that are associated with my products. Now, whenever we make our spreadsheet in you know just a couple minutes, each of these are going to be a new column. So again, we're going to have a spreadsheet. We're going to have a name column, a price column, and a quantity column. And then we can see all of our items in one very nice looking, well organized spreadsheet application. So that's what we're going to be doing. That's how it's going to be set up. So now let me just go ahead and add some constructors. So we can actually start setting this bad boy up. All right. So I'm going to have two constructors. I'm going to overload them. The first one, I'm just going to take all the properties and give them a default value. So by default, whenever we create a product, it's going to have a blank name. Let me just copy this because I'm lazy. And for the price, we can just set this equal to zero and the same thing for the quantity. So whenever we are creating a product object, it's going to have these default values. Now I'm also going to make another constructor public. And what this is going to do is it's going to take three parameters, the name, and quantity. All right. So what we can do is we can either create a blank product and then set all of the properties one by one, or we can just do everything all in one big shebang. So that's why I overloaded it with this constructor right here. And of course, whenever we do that, instead of giving it default values, we we'll actually just set the product equal to whatever values we pass in. Price and quantity. All right, so now we have the basic template of our class set up. The next thing you want to do is you want to insert all of your getters and setters. Now, the cool thing about using this IDE is if you just hit Alt Insert, again, that's Alt Insert on your keyboard, you can choose getter and setters. And this is if you just select all of these right here and hit OK, it creates all of them for you. Now, if you're not using JetBrains, I'm not sure how to do it on whatever IDE you're using, or you can just type all of this manually, but it is incredibly important to add these getters and setters. Now, whenever we use tables in JavaFX, behind the scenes, it's going to look for these getters and setters, and it's going to follow this very specific naming convention. It's going to look for a method with get in lowercase or set in lowercase and then directly after it 
is the property name. So if you guys are thinking about doing something like get the name or making your own um, custom getters and setters that don't follow convention, do not do that because it'll break JavaFX. Whenever you're not using JavaFX, do whatever the heck you want. But whenever you're making tables, they need to follow this name it convention. I cannot stress that enough. All right. So this product class is done. We can now store a bunch of our products, and they can have a name, price, and quantity.